Hello there! So, GTA 5 re-released on its third console generation, and like a lot of people, I've been replaying the campaign all over again. This time though, I deliberately failed every single mission to see what happened, and yes, most of the time it's the same old failed text on screen, yet sometimes, to my surprise, there are some ultra rare cutscenes to witness. I'll put them in order of gruesomeness, so stick around till the end if you want to see what happens in this scene, or this scene, or yeah, you get the idea. I'd like to make more GTA content, so please, if you like this, click like, it's really appreciated. Oh, and spoilers are definitely coming for this nine year old game. First to the jewellery heist mission, in which Michael and Franklin attempt to rob a store full of rocks in broad daylight. There is plenty of time to make a getaway, but have you ever wondered what happens if you don't make it out the door in time? See for yourself. The cops are coming, you've been warned. Get out of there now or you will be arrested and imprisoned, go! Yeah, 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 I get it. Took too long. Down, down slow. I was out, you know. The very first time Franklin and Michael meet involves breaking into Michael's home to repo a car. In this mission, we are told to avoid Michael's wife, daughter, and son. But what happens if we don't? Should Franklin be spotted by Tracy, you'll see this fail screen. <gasps> Who the f are you? If we are spotted by Jimmy, he'll react like this. Holy Dad! Dad, there's a dude! Dad, help! Dad! And down in the kitchen is Amanda and the tennis coach, who will give you this unforgettable reaction. Ah! Oh, I no! help you! Help you! Do something! Help! 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 After we take the vehicle, Michael pops up to control the situation and orders us to go back to the car lot. Should we drive around long enough or drive completely in the wrong direction, you'll be treated to this cutscene. This don't look like the way to no credit alley to me. Man, with traffic and all, this way is fast. Don't move, kid. In the mission Minor Turbulence, we fly a plane into a bigger plane, and then steal that plane. Along the way, we are shot down, and usually we jump clear and parachute to safety. Well, it turns out we can indeed stay in the plane and watch it crash down. My favourite part of this is how bored Trevor looks while waiting for this to happen. During the father and son mission, Michael and Franklin are getting to know each other, and suddenly Michael's boat is stolen with Jimmy on board. We take to the highway to rescue him and retrieve that boat. There are a couple of extra fail scenes to witness here. First, if we take out the henchman but never catch up to save Jimmy, by the end of the bridge, this will happen. quite understated to say he's just lost his son, whereas if we are able to save Jimmy but don't help Franklin back down, another cutscene is triggered. Dad, don't be all butthurt. At least you got me out of there. You listen to me, you little sh**. <laughs> that kid just jumped off the hood of a moving car to save your ass and now he's gone. And so's my boat! My guy really liked that boat. Next, we move on to the three endings of the game. I'm betting you chose option C, Death Wish, to keep all three characters alive. So in that case, let's look at the other options. The second option is to take out Michael, which gives us three ways to finish the game, albeit only with small minor changes. After Franklin corners Michael on a high ledge, the two are left struggling to hold on to each other. Our options are simple, drop Michael or save him. Dropping him is exactly what you'd expect. Franklin opens his grip and the big man goes splat. Hey. You told me when the time came! <sighs> I know! I'm sorry! <sighs> but what if we try to save Michael instead? I know! I'm sorry! You hypocrite! I should have clipped you when you broke into my house! Man, I'm sorry! It's like you said, I understand! <clears throat> I... Uh, 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 
Michael headbutts Franklin and still goes splat. The only difference to the ending cutscene is a broken nose for Franklin. So I loaded up again and this time I did absolutely nothing. I just waited to see what happened. And it's completely underwhelming. After a minute or two, their grips will become weakened and Michael still goes splat. If we choose to take out Trevor, a chase scene takes us to this moment. Trevor is t-boned into a tank of fuel and covered from head to toe. We are then told to shoot him, which Franklin does of course. The second version of this is if we hold off shooting, if we refuse to shoot Trevor, this will happen instead. Kid. Michael steps up and does the dirty work. That was his best friend. Out of interest, I also tried to shoot Michael here. It's not possible. During the movie premiere mission for Meltdown, we are given two minutes to go back home to save our wife and daughter from a private army. So I sat around to see what happened. Just the boring fail screen. I then tried this again, just waiting outside the house. Again, another fail screen. But if we go inside and don't react, we'll see this happen. Oh, you oh, you. I am seriously gonna shoot you. Both Amanda and Tracy are taken out. If we do save them though, we are treated to a scene of Jimmy teabagging his father. What a touching moment. One of the most traumatizing missions in GTA is by the book, as Michael watches a safe house while Trevor terrorizes a man for information. My first thought here to get an extra cutscene is to not do anything at all, and I can confirm that Trevor will just pace up and down and will never stop until the player makes a decision. Which means we have to indulge in those unpleasantries. <laughs> May I recommend the Nutcracker? If we don't keep an eye on the heartbeat of Mr. K, he will flatline, giving us the option to give him a shot to bring him back to life. But if we don't do that and just stand there and watch, we get this cutscene instead. Well, that's what happens when you put the body through the ringer. Now hold on, hold on, what, what, hold on. Forget it. <laughs> Dead! Whoa. Hey, I just spent the past few hours torturing a seemingly innocent guy to death, and I don't even know why I did it. So does that make me a moron? You're going down, punk. At the exact moment I get bored with you, your little racket will end. Yeah. Yeah, you love those tough guy lines, don't you, huh? <laughs> In the mission Dead Man Walking, Michael is thwacked over the head and sent to a morgue, looking like a cadaver. The coroners open his body and are surprised to see him wake up and the mission continues. But there are actually two more versions of this scene. The first happens if Michael stays completely still. Have a listen to this. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in his wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. I was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. So you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. Lucky girl having this thing on top of her, huh? She was probably relieved when he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. It's a win-win. Only losers are the chumps who've got to cut him open to rule cause of death. Get ready with the bone saw and the rib spreader. You might want to hold your nose. So he was killed whilst playing dead. Oh, the irony. It's also possible to move a little during the autopsy and one of the coroners will notice. What the hell was that? Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no, 
It's reanimating. You want to cut it in the coroner's office, you're going to have to lose the nerves. I've been around cadavers. This isn't right. Well, fresh is different. The ones you've seen have been on the shelf for a week. You can still smell this guy's breakfast. If you say so. Ah, the things I've seen in this place. Grown man you could fit into a sandwich bag. Bodies that are more maggots than flesh. This gas bag here is a blessing. But unless we get off of our back, the same ending will happen. I mean, you can shake your head around like there's no tomorrow, and once they've noticed once, they'll just crack on. Literally. Now to the fresh meat mission. Michael is taken by the triads and is strung up to a um, food processor and is about to become minced meat Michael. We are supposed to rescue him with Franklin, but where's the fun in that? Instead, I decided to wait and watch. And approximately six minutes later, this happens. Hey, you can still stop this! You can stop it! Come on! Oh, us! Out of interest, I wondered what would happen to Franklin if he accidentally went into that machine and oh well it's exactly it's exactly what you'd expect. So that's it, 14 secret cutscenes you may have missed if you played the game how it was intended. I'm Adam, you're awesome, I'll see you next time.